all of you for the exciting Srimad Bhagavadam Saptaham discoursed by Sri Dushyant Sridhar. We shall start the program with the prayer by the temple priests. After the prayer, the priests will do a short archana and offer Nevedya Prasadam to Lord Krishna and the Holy Bhagavadam scripts. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om <coughs> Shanna Metra Shambharuna Shanna Bhavatvari Yama Shanna Gandra Brahaspati Shanna Vishnu Rurakrama Namo Brahmane Namaste Vayo Tvameva Pratakram Brahmadit Tvameva Pratakram Brahmavadishyami Rudam Vadishyami Satyam Vadishyami Tanmam Avadu Tadvaktaram Avadu Avatumam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shant 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 Jnananda Mayan Devan Nirmalas Phatika Kritim Ahadharam Sarva Vidyanaham Hayagrivam Bupasmahe Krishna Rakshaduna Jagatraya Guru Krishnam Namasyam Yaham Krishnena Marajatra Vinihataha Krishna Yatasmai Namaha Krishna Deva Samuthidam Jagadidam Krishna Syadahasosmyam Krishna Tishthati Sarvameda Dakhilam He Krishna Rakshaswamam Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Mardanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Om Shri Krishna Yanamaha Om Arghyam Badhyam Ajamaniyam Snariyam Vastrartham Vavidartham Divya Barimala Chandanam Akshadan Pushpai Pujayami Om Keshavayanamaha Om Narayanayanamaha Om Madhavayanamaha Om Govindayanamaha Om Vishnamayanamaha Om Madhusudanayanamaha Om Trivikramayanamaha Om Vamanayanamaha Om Shridharayanamaha Om Rishikeshayanamaha Om Patmanabhayanamaha Om Damodarayana Mahavom Vasudevayana Mahavom Sankarshanayana Mahavom Pradyumnayana Mahavom Aniruddhayana Mahavom Purushottamayana Mahavom Adokshajayana Mahavom Narasimayana Mahavom Achyudayana Mahavom Janardhanayana Mahavom Pendrayana Mahavom Haraye Namaha Om Shri Krishna Haya Namaha Om Dajango Gukulodhu Vatsugandha Sumano Haraha Kapila Ghrita Sam Yukto Dhupayam Pratigrishyatam Om Burbhu Vasubaha Om Tatsavitur Varehen Yambhargo Devasya Dhimehe Dhiyo Yona Prachodhaya Aate Om Pranay Swaha Abhana Yusvaha, Vyana Yusvaha, Udana Yusvaha, Samana Yusvaha, Brahmane Swaha, Bhagavate Shri Vasudevaya Namaha, Namo Bhagavate Shri Krishnaya Namaha, Madhuran Nivedayami, Panchavida Phalan Nivedayami, Divya Deepan Dandarshayami. Om Sangrahanye Shtyaya Jate Imam Janatagum Sangrahanhani Te Ratnarashani Bhavati Dvadasha Masa Asvam Vatsaraha Vatsaramiva Varundhe 
ಮೌಂಜೀ ಊರ್ಜ್ವೈ ಮುಂಜಾ ಆಹಾಮೇವಾಂಧೆ ಚಿತ್ರ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಚಿತ್ರಕರ್ಮ ಯಥಸ್ವೇಧ ಸಮೃದ್ಧೈ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ see to honor shri dushyant sridhar by offering the garland and welcome shri sridhar on behalf of the hindu temple of greater chicago thank you everyone on behalf of all of you and the entire board of trustees and hindu dharma and philosophy committee i am honored to uh, honor a distinguished uh, dushyant sridhar he is not new to our temple he has come in 2015 2016 and 2018 thank you Hindu Dharma Committee illa na of Hindu Temple of Greater Chicago we welcome Dushan Sridhar he needs no introduction i think it is preposterous on my part to state the many accomplishments the bhakti bhava his panditiyam and his very elaborate and entertaining way of presentation i need not elaborate on that any further he has been in our chicago tyagaraj utsavam also in the past and you have all heard him we are very excited today starting from today to hear the bhagavata pravachanam and any other interesting things that he is going to educate us and present and we very heartily welcome him and look forward to hearing his beautiful presentations thank you and then without much ado i'll step out so that he can start the program thank you everyone please sit and enjoy thank you today Today is the first day of the seven day series and it is very important as it sets the stage for the next six days of the program, especially the Padma Puranam that explains the story of Parikshit Maharaja and the story of Bhakti, Jnanam, Vairagyam and Varaha Avataram. It is extremely auspicious to recite, organize and to listen to the Srimad Bhagavad Saptaham. According to Bhagavad Mahatmyam, this is the highest yajna prescribed for people in kali yuga it is believed that by listening to shrimad bhagavatam in saptaham format will bestow upon a person all material benefits and mukti before we hand over the stage to shri dushyant sridhar we would like to remind you of some ground rules please mute your cell phones avoid taking flash photography and do not live stream the event on social media Please make a note of the nearest emergency exit and refrain from eating or drinking inside the auditorium. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our volunteers, patrons and sponsors, sponsors without whom we wouldn't be able to conduct this program seamlessly. We the temple has arranged for boxed dinners in the kitchen area for a nominal amount. Please you can pick it up after the discourse is over. Now we request Sri Dushyant Sridhar to take us to the blissful journey through Srimad Bhagavatam. Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Srimad Venkata Nathariyam Ande Vedanta Deshikam Lakshmi Natha Samarambham Nathaya Munamadhyamam Asmad Acharya Pariyantam Ande Guru Paramparam Yonityam Achyuta Padambuja Yugmarukma Vyamohata Staditarani Trinayamene Vyamohata Staditarani Trinayamene 
अस्मद्गुरोर्भगवतोस्य दयैक सिंधो हो रामानुजस्य चरणौ शरणं प्रपद्ये माता पिता युवतयस्तनया विभूति सर्वं यदेव नियमेन मदन्वयानां आद्यस्य नह कुलपतेर वकुलाभिरामं श्रीमत् तदंग्रियुगळं प्रणमामि मूर्धना भूतं सरश्च महदाह्वय भट्टनाथ श्री भक्तिसार कुलशेखर योगिवाहान भक्ताङ्ग्रिरेणु परकाल यतीन्द्र मिश्रान् श्रीमत् परांकुशमुनिं प्रणतोस्मि नित्यं नारायणं नमस्कृत्य नरञ्चैव नरोत्तमं देवीं सरस्वतीं व्यासं ततो जयम् उदीरयेत् व्यासं वसिष्ठनप्तारं शक्तेः पौत्रम् अकल्मशं पराशरात्मजं वन्दे शुकतातं तपोनिधिं व्यासाय विष्णुरूपाय व्यासरूपाय विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्मनिधये वासिष्ठाय नमो नमः योगोषतम् कनकश्रंगमयम् ददाति विप्राय वेद विदुषेच बहुश्रुताय पुण्यांश्च भारतकथाम् श्रुण्यांश्च नित्यम् तुल्यम् भवति तस्यच तस्यचैव अचतुर्वदनोर् ब्रह्मा विवाहुर अपरोहरिहि अभाल लोचनश्चंबुहु भगवान् बादरायनः पाराशर्य वचस्सुधाम् सुमनसहा दुग्धाब्धि मध्योद्रताम् समसाराग्नि विदीपन व्यपगत प्राणात्म संजीवनी पूर्वाचार्य सुरक्षिताम् बहुमतिम् व्याघात दूरस्थिताम् आनीताम् तु निजाक्षरै सुमनसहा भावमाफ पिबंतपन बहम् निगमकल्पतरोर गलितम् फलम् शुकमुका दमरतद्रव संयुतम् पिबता भागवता रसमालयम् मुहुरहो रसिकाहा भुवि भावुकाहा सांद्रानंदावबोधात्मकमनुपमिदम् कालदेशावदिभ्याम् निर्मुक्तम् नित्यमुक्तम् निगमशत सहस्रेण निर्भस्यमानम् अस्पष्टम् दृष्टमात्रे पुनः उरुपुरुषार्थात्मकम् ब्रह्मतत्वम् तत्तावत् भाति साक्षात् गुरुपावन पुरे हंतभाग्यम् जनानाम् अग्रे पश्यामि तेजो निबिडतरकला यावली लोभनीयम् पीयूषा प्लवितोहम् तदनु तदुतरे दिव्यकैशोरवेशम् तारुन्यारम् भरम्यम् परमसुखरसास्वाद रोमांचितांगई आवीतम् नारदाद्यी विलसदुपनिषद् सुंदरी मंडलेश्चा बाहुद्वंद्वे नरत्नो ज्वलवलय भृता शोनपाणि प्रवाले नोपाता वेणुनालीम प्रसृतनखमयुकांगुलीम संगशाराम खृत्वा वक्त्रार विंदे सुमधुर विकस दराग मुद्भाव्यमानेही शब्द ब्रह्मामृतेही त्वम् शिशिरित भुवनेही सिंच सिंच मेकर्णवीथी योगी इंद्राणाम त्वदंगे श्वधिक सुमधुरम मुक्ति भाजाम निवासो भक्तानाम काम वर्षद्युतरुकी सलयम नाथते पादमूलम नित्यम् चित्तस्थितम् मे पवनपुरपते कृष्णा कारुण्य सिंधो कृष्णा कारुण्य सिंधो कृत्वा 
ನಿಶೇಷತಾಪನ್ ಪ್ರದಿಶತು ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಸಂದೋಹ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಅಜ್ಞಾತ್ವಾತೆ ಮಹತ್ವ ಯದಿಹ ನಿಗದಿತ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಕ್ಷಮೇತ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಚೈತತ್ಸಹಸ್ರೋತ್ತರಧಿಕತರ ತ್ವತ್ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಭೂಯ ವೇದಾರಾಯಣೀಯ ಶ್ರುತಿಷು ಚ ಜನುಷಸ್ತುತ್ಯತರ್ಣನೆ ಸ್ಫೀತ ಲೀಲಾವತಾರೈರಿದಮಿತ ಕುರು ಆಯುರಾರೋಗ್ಯ ಸೌಖ್ಯಂ ಆಯುರಾರೋಗ್ಯ ಸೌಖ್ಯಂ ಜನಕೀಕಾಂತಸ್ಮರಣ ಗೋಪಿ ಜೀವನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಐ ಶುಲ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಿ ನಾಮಾವಳಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಏಕಾದಶಿ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ we have a lot of stored energy in us we can open our mouths and then say the name of the lord janaki kanta smaranam gopika jeevana smaranam with the abundant grace of paramatma the benign grace of his that is bestowed upon each of us we have gathered to witness a momentous period in all our lives of experiencing shrimad bhagavata mahapuranam as is ordained by our ancestors to be a series of 7 days referred to as shrimad bhagavata saptaham in this saptaham beginning today and which shall see its finale on the 15th of may 14th of may 21st of may 21st of may in the afternoon between 3 and 5 with rukmini kalyanam this series is happening both in the weekdays and the weekend i'm sure all of you with your gracious presence have made the weekday strong so i am generally told that i have a photograph of in my eyes of taking people who are present <laughs> so make sure you make your pancha bhautika shariram with the jeevatma housed in it present for another 6 days <laughs> grateful to two wonderful organizations of course to the sthalavai lakshanyam the hindu te- temple of greater chicago lemont the presiding deity the board members the astikas the committee members the volunteers have made this possible for 7 days and i'm also extremely grateful for to the greater chicago vedic society for entirely designing my tour and standing through the tough times uh, when visa was a problem last year when it was made easy this year thanks to the volunteers thanks to shrimati priya and narayanan or oh, and the astikas and other volunteers for making this happen this is my uh 20 no it is my 32nd continuous day of lecture in the us so two and a half hours every day four red eye flights and uh, this is my fourth saptaham and i have one more saptaham in dallas so thanks to the all astikas who have made this possible shrimad bhagavatam is one of the most sought after revered puranams in sanatana dharma not that any other puranam doesn't hold this much value but somehow shrimad bhagavatam is touted to be the purana that induces bhakti and pervades within each of our mind space and occupies our hearts filled with devotion and there's a paddhati of making it a saptaha that said this puranam has 12 skandhams 
You know, something very interesting about Sanatana Dharma is how many ways a single topic can be presented. Of course, in most of our curriculum, in our course books, we call it chapters. But for the same word chapter, we have Kandams, Bala Kandam, Ayodhya Kandam, Aranya Kandam, Kishkinda Kandam, all Kandams in Srimad Ramayanam. Adi Parva, Sabha Parva, Udyoga Parva, Vana Parva, Virata Parva, Bhishma Parva, Karna Parva, Drona Parva, Shalya Parva, Sautantika Parva, Anushasana Parva, all these Parvas in Mahabharatam. Prathama Skandam, Dvitiya Skandam, Skandams in Srimad Bhagavatam. Amshams in Vishnu Puranam, Stabakams in Lakshmi Sahasram, Paddhati in Paduka Sahasram, just for the word chapter. You see the variety that you get. Kandam, Parva, Stabakam, Amsham, Paddhati. You have a list. So we have 12 Skandams close to, not exactly 18,000, somewhere around that figure. We have those many shlokas. So to even recite those many shlokas, it will take days together. Leave alone even delineating or elucidating the quintessence of all those works. So in the series of seven days, we will get to see some incidents in Srimad Bhagavatam. This is just meant to be an appetizer for those of you who haven't experienced this before and those of you who have already gone through Bhagavata Saptaham, this shall just be a revision. Where do we begin? I have to begin at a place which is quite interesting to keep the audience, you know, very, very spirited. Mahabharatam is interesting in a way. I'll tell you why. Ashwatthama, the son of Drona, he was the limitation to Drona as well. For his father, who was extremely valorous and filled with the archery prowess, one thing which was a limitation was the excess love that he gave to his son Ashwatthama. That is why, if you look at uh, Sri Mahabharatam, Drona wanted to avenge the humiliation meted to him by Drupada Maharaja. He was in search, that is when the boy spotted the teacher, the teacher's talent and went and told Bhishma Acharya. Bhishma said, let's recruit Dronacharya in our team as your tutor. The condition that was laid to Drona was, you should teach the princes of Kurudesham alone, the Kauravas alone, both the sons of Pandu, Pandavas and the son of, uh, sons of Dhritarashtra, the Dhartarashtras. Well, this was the condition laid. Drona sought an exception. He said, well, let these children learn under me. Give an exception to my son also. Let him also be a part of the team. So all amenities were given. It was a good township. Everything was provided to Dronacharya. But Drona was extremely partial to his son. Though he was teaching the other sons of Kuru, he was very partial to his son. You know, there is always a debate going about nepotism. Right, so it began then. What Dronacharya used to do, this is all documented in Adi Parva. What you can do is, you can note down those aspects of my Upanyasam which you feel I am rambling. Go fact check and then come back tomorrow. You can always prove me wrong or correct wherever I am wrong. There is one occasion in the Adi Parva where Dronacharya tells all his students to go fetch waters from the nearby pond. He gives one ghatam. And that ghatam has a long narrow mouth. So it will take a lot of water for time for the water to displace the air and then fill itself. So let's say an average time is about 10 minutes to fill that pot. And uh, he would, all the boys would do. But he would give a pot with a broad mouth to his son. <laughs> Vyasa Acharya mentions of this. Because his son would return in three minutes. The others would take ten. In that gap of seven minutes, he would teach the rest of the astrams. Extra portions. 
you know those important portions in our textbooks i don't know we used to put a cross four dots around and then one circle faq so all this used to be taught to ashwatthama alone but the surprising thing what vyasacharya states is when ashwatthama used to run towards dronacharya saying that i filled the pot arjuna also used to come at the same time that is when dronacharya asked how did you fill the water so fast because he knew the pot given to him was of a different dimension and shape arjuna says i have learned a few astrams in your absence maybe google i googled chat gpt what did the chat gpt say varunastram through varunastram i filled the waters i didn't even go to the pond that is when he thought they truly talented people can win over nepotism any other deterrent then he thought there is no use in fighting this case i will also be equally good towards arjuna but in that due course though he had to deliver the same syllabus to the both of them there was one occasion where ashwatthama knew something slightly more than what arjuna knew not that he was very good at executing it but he knew theoretically he knew something better this is on one side you have to park this on one side this ashwatthama holds immense importance in sanatana dharma because there is one temple within bharata desham and outside bharata desham that shares a lot of things in common both are ashtanga vimana temples ashtanga vimanam is when the sanctum sanctorum is multi tiered both are multi tiered in their sanctum sanctorum it is an ashtanga vimanam and the presiding deity of the temple faces the west the temple within bharata desham is called vaikuntha perumal temple or parameshwara vinnagaram as mentioned by tirumangayalva believed to be the last amongst the mystic saints who sang on this temple of the 7th century in kanchipuram the temple which is an ashtanga vimanam where the lord faces the west outside india is angkor wat called parama vishnu loka in siam reap constructed by suryavarman the two of the kumar dynasty so in a way kanchipuram and kalinga were inspirations to the kumar dynasty angkor wat now let's return to kanchipuram if you do a pradakshinam around the temple this is one temple whose wall reliefs talk about the entire dynasty when you begin you see a small vessel and a child next to it it indicates the vessel indicates the measuring vessel indicates drona and the child next to it indicates the one born of it it wouldn't be right to for me to coax science into it if they naturally meet so be it but this is somewhat related to the petri dish experiment that we do in in vitro in vitro is petri dish so you culture and then you implant so this dronam is a measuring vessel the child born of it was drona the next panel talks about a child and a horse next to it so this child's cry was akin to the neighing of a horse so he was ashwatthama and the next panel talks about the kings you can go check this temple when you go to kanchipuram so pallavas were the descendants of ashwatthama now let's get back to mahabharatam i told you this ashwatthama though not as talented as arjuna knew theoretically something more than arjuna so krishna was of the opinion that ashwatthama should never be made the commander in chief of the kauravas because he was very talented so what he does in udyoga parva as he visits the kauravas when he knew that through his side glances shakuni and duryodhana were looking at them he calls ashwatthama see what transpired between ashwatthama and krishna can't be heard because they are standing elsewhere but they could see 
So Krishna made the conversation so dramatic that Shakuni and Duryodhana had to sit on pins and needles. So they were worried what is transpiring between the both of them. That is when Krishna said, isn't it time for Sandhya Vandanam? So this dramatics created some kind of inquisitiveness in the both of them. And then as Krishna and Ashwatthama were performing their Sandhya Vandanam, Krishna slowly left his ring loose. The ring fell and Ashwatthama gave the ring to Krishna. So at a distance, it looked as if Ashwatthama is submitting something or himself to Krishna. So Shakuni tells Duryodhana, don't give him a prime position. This is what Krishna wanted. So if you believe in Mahabharatam, Ashwatthama was never given a prime position. Bhishma became the commander-in-chief. Then later, Dronacharya became. After Drona, theoretically, if somebody had more certifications to them, a charter to them, that was Ashwatthama. But Ashwatthama didn't become the commander-in-chief. Then Karna became, because Karna had a rule. Till Bhishma is the commander-in-chief, he shall not enter the crowd. And that was also in a way designed by Krishna. Now let's come back. Then after Karna's period, Ashwatthama was again waiting. But after Karna, Nakula Sahadeva's uncle called Shalya became the commander-in-chief. Then the battle was almost over when Duryodhana was badly injured on his thigh. That time, uh, Ashwat, three people were surviving. Kritavarma, Kripa and Ashwatthama. Kripa was Ashwatthama's uncle, his mother's brother, Kripi's brother. Only three were surviving, no army. That time those three visit the ailing Duryodhana. That is when Ashwatthama says, at least now make me the commander-in-chief. You know, there is one recent dialogue that I came across. <laughs> so, there was nobody whom with whom he had... See, for example, you would expect the aristocratic kings to clap and say, Yarange. Even if he would clap his hands, there is no second person to come. His army was bereft of Homo sapiens. That is when Yatham Ridhe Kauravas Rijayanam Vireshvatho Viragatim Gateshu Vrukodarad Vidhagadar Bhimarshat Bhagna Uru Dande Dhritarashtra Putne Bhagna Uru Dande. While he was struck by Bhima very badly on his thigh, his later part of the backbone was also affected. Bhagna Uru Dande. Dhritarashtra putre bhartuf priyam drauniritisma pashyan Krishna sutanam what Ashwatthama did was after he got the reins of becoming the commander in chief he went and sat in meditation under the shade of a tree what to do next because there is no army to fight he has to devise some plan to defeat the Pandavas it was the evening time, the night had set in. That is when many, many crows came and sought refuge in the branches of the tree under which he was meditating. He saw an owl come at that point. Owls are generally very nocturnal in nature. They see better in the nights. They with their virulent force came and attacked the crows and they consumed its flesh. This gave the idea to Ashwatthama, why should I wait for the day, why can't I attack them in the night? So he goes across the tents where they were resting. There he sees a few soldiers mentioning, finally, the five are sleeping. The moment he understands five are sleeping, he goes and shoots arrows at the five who are sleeping. Then he goes to the tent of Drupada Putra Drishtadhyumna. Drishtadhyumna was the one who beheaded Drona. So while he goes there, 
Drishtadhyumna says, please use a weapon and kill me. Because it was a belief in those days in the Kshatriyas, if you are killed by a weapon, you will get Swarga Gati, Swarga Prapti. But Ashwatthama says, why should I listen to you? I will use my hands to choke you. And he kills Drishtadhyumna. Next day he gets the papers, Times of Hastinapura. He opens. He was expecting the death of Pandavas. Interestingly, incidentally, the Pandavas weren't dead. The five sons born to the Pandavas through Draupadi were dead. Krishna Sutanam Swapatam Shiram Si. Then he feels, anyways, I had to kill, I killed those. Something he has achieved. So he goes and tells Duryodhana, Duryodhana, I have achieved something. What Duryodhana asks? I have killed the five sons of Draupadi. When did you kill them? In the night. Upahara dvipriyam evatasya jugupsitam karma vigar hayanti. Duryodhana says, this is wrong. You should have not done. Duryodhana says, this is wrong. You should have not done. Now, after having heard this, now imagine, poor thing, he was waiting to be the commander-in-chief. Now, after doing something, the leader doesn't appreciate. Talabadi doesn't appreciate. Tala doesn't appreciate. Talabadi. <laughs> he is the commander-in-chief. Then what to do? So, he says, I have to impress Duryodhana. Right? Duryodhana has walked for so many miles across the country. So, I have to impress upon him. That is when, what he does... He aims an astram called Apandaveyastram. Apandaveyastram. First he releases an astram called Brahmashiras. This is that extra portion I told you, right? Father did not cover. So Arjuna did, knew only Brahmastram. Brahmastram is like surf. Brahmashiras is like surf excel. <laughs> extra. So he aimed at that astram and that astram was to go and hit the Pandavas. Then Krishna said, you aim Brahmastram Arjuna. Arjuna asked, why should I aim? He is also aiming one astram. No, let them both meet. Vyasacharya will come and stop us. He will tell, retract the weapons. I know Ashwatthama will not be able to retract. How do you know Krishna? In a casual conversation in the past, he has told me, I do not know how to take back the astram. When Vyasacharya reprimands, you will be able to take the astram back and you will get the blessings of Vyasa. As usual it happens. Now, Draupadi is called. Because Draupadi has lost her children. See, Mahabharatam Draupadi is very ferocious. Bhagavatam Draupadi is very soft. See, you remember when she was humiliated in the Sabha, 2018, July 15th, I spoke about Draupadi here. Same premises. Remember. Then after that, Nadavila Kunja Pakko, Kaanam. Then Draupadi, she comes to that place and she says, please do not hurt Ashwatthama, he is your Guru Putra, forgive him, she tells. She has lost her children, five are dead. That's why I said she is very understanding when it comes to Bhagavatam because experience and age will always cool down a person or rather should cool down a person. Manam nishamya ghoram paritapyamana Tadaruda dvashpa kalakula kshi Tam santvayanna hakirita mali Arjuna said I have to kill this man for showing this kind of an attitude Draupadi says don't kill Bhima says kill Arjuna is now in a fix he optimizes the constraints. He was an engineer. Optimization techniques he has studied. How many of you are engineers here? My deepest condolences. <laughs> so, Tada Shuchaste Pramrujami Bhadre. That is when Krishna tells you can satisfy the both. You take off his shikha. The tuft. You take that off. If you take the shikha of a learned scholar, it is equivalent to cutting his head. Tada shuchaste pramrujami bhadre yad brahma bandho shira atata inaha. He is brahma bandhu. Brahma bandhu means brahmanas 
friend. Correct? This is what we'll expect. But Brahmana Bandhu, Brahma Bandhu means enemy of Brahmanas. Kshatra Bandhu means enemy of Kshatriyas. How sir? Ye kaisa ho sakta hai? Jab do shabd ikkatha hote hain, to unka arth bhi ek saman hona chahiye na? Tamil Peshara Vaitana be record. No. Okay. Kanada Dauru? Ah. Telugu Matlar Tarai Karasti Kajanalu? Ah. Oh, you learn. You better. Sundra Vaiti Malayalam? Oh. Okay. I'm sure there are people of all languages. Now, see, let's say we go to a social event, some function, marriage function, Upanayanam. One person is in there and two of us are talking about that person. Not so kind words about that person and that person arrives. Now, look at a sholindra in the room, nallavar navarda. Does the word nallavar mean nallavar? Likewise, brahmana bandhu doesn't mean the friend of brahmanas. Yad brahma bandho shira atata inaha Gandhi va muktair vishikhair upaharet Akram ye gets nasi dagdha putra That is when Arjuna says, well I have done this. It should have stopped there. But Ashwatthama was not able to take the defeat. I am the son of Dronacharya. You are the son of Dronacharya. Dronacharya was meritorious. You came through nepotism. You can't expect the same treatment. But what Drona, uh, Ashwatthama does is, he couldn't take this defeat. See, at the end of the day, neither Duryodhana appreciated him. And Krishna and Arjuna have taken his shikha out. He said, now that I've gone on a mission to bring the death of the sons of Panchali, I shall also affect the next generation. The only scope that was pending to take the generation forward was Arjuna's son, Abhimanyu's wife Uttara. She was pregnant. So at that point in time, he says, I will now release an astram called Apandave Astram. This astram will be programmed, the input statement, scanf. Scanf will be to go and kill the fetus in Uttara's Garbham. So he had to release that astram. As that astram was to be released, the effect was felt in Uttara. She started feeling there is something wrong in my belly. She complains to her mother-in-law Subhadra. Subhadra tells her co-wife Draupadi. Both these women tell their mother-in-law Kunti. It's like Woodward's grape water advertisement. <laughs> All of them are living. Mamiyar Allah. Mamiyar or Mamiyar is living. So all of them, the only source they had was Krishna Krishna Mahabaho Paramatma Sanatanaha. They knew Krishna will come to their rescue. So the moment the astram struck her amnionic sac, because at times I'm sure there will be medical practitioners here, there can be cases where the amnionic sac can undergo a rupture. You have a chorion and a placenta, you've got fluid within. She must have been towards the end of her second trimester. And the astram went and struck the fetus. That is when they all surrendered to Krishna and Krishna said, don't worry, I will protect. He goes as Angushtamatra Purushaha through her navel into the umbilical cord and goes around the child. Generally, in the third trimester, the child won't move much because it has grown well. So, as Krishna goes around the child, very, very small, in a very sm minuscule form, the child starts looking around because this is the only place where encroachment can't happen. <laughs> Who has encroached even this place? Is it B square or G square? What has come here? So, as this child sees around, ikshane, ikshatvam means to see. Pari, pari means to see around. Pari, ikshate, it started looking around. Who is this? Pari, ikshate, hence he was called parikshit. So, now this child sees around. It keeps seizing, seeing around. Then the Lord tries to protect. Now, the child is eventually born. 
here is where Mahabharatam comes with it. See, Mahabharatam and Bhagavatam are like two sets which have some intersection. A intersection B. They are not mutually exclusive. In Mahabharatam, the child was born as a stillborn baby. There was no movement. That is when an ethereal voice said, the one who is a Brahmachari and the one who has always spoken the truth, only if these two conditions suffice, the person touches, the child shall come back to life. Both we, these conditions were not possible with Krishna. <laughs> Brahmachari and should have spoken the truth. Malai pirandanambiye, male shayum manalane, yela puigal uraipane, inge po the kandire. Andal says, if at all you list down the number of lies a person can utter, Krishna will have the maximum score. Yela puigal uraipane, inge po the kandire, melal parand, vigil kapan, vinadai shirvan shiragenum, mela pinkal varuvane, vrindavanate kando. Then Krishna says, Yedi me brahmacharyam syad, satyam chamavyahatam, yena jiva tu balakaha. If I am a brahmachari, if I have spoken the truth, if both these conditions are true, let this child come back to life. So this child was in a way testing Krishna. It was giving pariksha to Krishna. Hence again he was called parikshit. Child was born. Now, Kunti comes and says, Kunti says, <coughs> She tells Krishna, Vipadaha Santuta Shashvat. You have listened to our prayers, you have protected my great grandson. Son Arjuna, grandson Abhimanyu, great grandson Parikshit. But I ask for a boon now. He asked, Aunt, what more boons you want? The boon that you need to give me is keep giving us problems. Only if you give us problems, we will keep thinking of you. Unless there, we, our child has to get maximum credits in AP. <laughs> Why will we think of Rama? Right? Vipada Santuta Shashvat Tatra Tatra Jagat Guru Bhavato Darshanam Yasyat Punar Bhavada Darshanam That is when Krishna says Whenever you want you call me Aunt I am always there at your service. This was said. Now this boy was born he will grow up to be a great devotee. Let's keep that aside. Generally, there is a paddhati, there was a paddhati as per some of the Samhitas, when the child reaches a certain age, maybe of six months, one year, one and a half years, Samhita says they will keep a few objects before the child and whatever the object the child chooses, there will be some kind of future assertion done. It may choose now, Samhita says keep pencil, pen. Now you may have to keep iPad, <laughs> iPod, all of that. Let's see what the child chooses. Here, the mother of Parikshit was called Uttara. She was the daughter of the king of Matsyadesham. She was the student of Arjuna when, she, when he was a Brihannada. Yonak. Now the father said, I'll give her in marriage to you. Arjuna said, see, I marry many times. But I have one dharma in that I cannot marry my student. Then parents will be worried to send their children to school. Teacher, kalyanamunikaram chudanachungro. So I will get her married to my son. That said, she was given the name Uttara. Her name was Uttara. Utt Shabdam means something which is high. Uttara means the exalted one, the one who is very, very respected. What has she achieved to get that name? See, there must be a reason. If we talk about the process of naming in those days, there has to be justification as to why she was called Uttara. See, I am sure you all know the great Aryamba. Aryamba was the mother of? Very good, Adi Shankara. 
she is to be respected because she gave the world one of the intellectual persons called Adi Shankar. Kanti Mati. Ramanujasmata. She gave the world a great Jagadacharya, a person who stayed within the system and reformed the system, rather seeing the system from outside and breaking idols and to talking ill things. See, you can always be a revolutionary. Staying within the system and reforming is a great person's act. Staying outside, abusing, giving speeches, it's not great. And letting the wife go to temples. <laughs> right. So, here, Ramanuja's mother was Kantimati. She gave the world one of the greatest Acharyas. Totaramma, Vedanta Deshika's mother. So all these mothers are to be venerated because they gave the world some of the great Acharyas and Bhagavatottamas, the best of devotees. Let's take Kaushalya. Ulagelam udarattul podindu arumaraikkum avanai anjana karumugil kolundu yelil kattum shodiyai thiruvurappayandanal thiramkol kosalai says Kamban. What great mother she was. She gave birth to Rama whom she is going to send to Lemon Temple. <laughs> Right. So that is Kaushalya's greatness. Mannupugal Kausalai Tan Mani Vair. Kausalai Tan Mani Vair. What great mother she was. She gave birth through Paramatma himself. So was Devaki. Devaki, she gave birth to Krishna in Dwaparam. So Aryamba Kantimati and Tota Rama gave birth to the best of devotees, Bhagavatas. Kaushalya and Devaki gave birth to Paramatma Bhagavan. But at one point in time, the only lady in the world who bore both the great Bhagavata Parikshit and Bhagavan Krishna was Uttara. So she was called the highest one. Because at one point she had both. See, for nowhere else in the world you can do this. Everybody is attached to the mother. the Mother's Day. <laughs> Yesterday? Ah. So everybody will say, Happy Mother's Day. This, that card will come, that will come. Hmm? But let's say your son or daughter, they are very attached to you. Even then, they cannot get back into your garbha. Once they have come out once, That was a very safe place. I'll go back. Nobody can come. But Krishna who got out of Devaki's Garbham went into Uttara's Garbham. He had Garbhavasam twice. That is Uttara's greatness. This was the question which later Parikshit asks. When did he ask? Now this Parikshit, let him grow. You know in the old cinemas, Mai Kaal Hoon. Jab Gandhar Naresh Shakuni Gayate. You remember that black screen, the chakram will go. Then that wheel will go. The tree will have many flowers. Then that flowers will fall. Autumn will come. Like your city. Fall, autumn, all that. So after many years, we are going to see Parikshit as the king. Parikshit went on hunting. As he went on hunting one day, it is believed that Kali Purusha was in him. Kali Purusha means not an external person. When we have mood swings, we are become we become Kalapu Kali Purusha, that's all. So this Parikshit goes and he goes on hunting. When he goes on hunting, he is very thirsty. No water to be found. He finds a hermitage close by. As he goes to that hermitage, that is when he finds a rishi doing tapas, meditation. How was that meditation? True meditation. What is true meditation? Vishwam Vishnu Vashatkaro Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu Kunyon Tani Kukrela Bhuta Krit Bhuta Britpavo Puta Atma Puta Pavana Phone at Tangle Puta Atma Paramatma Chamukta Nam Paramagati Havar Hatikra Ravakit Shulumi Pundia than Pavya Yapurusha Sakshi Kshetra Gnokshara Yevacha. You see how devotionally we are reciting Sasra Nama? Sir, not Nitya Sasna Manjuli. This is how it is. But this. Rishi was truly meditating. 
So when Parikshit said, I have come, I have come, bho, ho, bho, ho, he didn't listen, he couldn't hear. So this Parikshit felt very frustrated, very angry. See, anger is in a way a gunam and a dosham. Anger is not a bad quality, it is a quality if it comes to the right person at the right time in the right proportion. Shinatinal tennilangai komanai chetra manatikinyan. Andal says, I love Rama's anger. Because it came at the right time. Adikadi kopata value. So that anger should have a value. That is why in Sri Rudram, the first Anuvakam, we celebrate Shiva to bring his anger down. Namaste astu bhagavan vishveshwaraya mahadeva yatrayam bakaya tripurantakaya trikagni kalaya kalagni rudraya mrityun jayaya sada shivaya shriman mahadeva yana maha yata ishu shivatama shivam babhuva te dhanuhu shiva sharavya tata bataya no rudram redaya there we say manyava utota ishave namaha manya manyu means anger you know, many of them recite Manyu thousand times. Kamo Karishit, Manyu Rakarishit. I did not do, anger did. Is the idli ready? <laughs> idli, if idli is not ready, he will get angry. That is why he says, I will not get angry. So, this king gets angry. He lifts a dead snake. He sees a dead snake, he lifts it with his arrow, garlands the rishi and says, you are akin to the dead snake. You are not replying, so is the dead snake and he goes. This is a simple incident. But this incident of the king garlanding the rishi and humiliating him was witnessed by the rishi's son's friend. The Rishi's son's friend goes and tells the Rishi's son, your father has been humiliated and you are playing Lagori here. Then this boy curses. When you have put a dead snake around my father's snake, you shall be garlanded by the snake with the most virulent poison called Takshaka and in the seventh day you will die. Now, after he told this, his father calls him. Now he is released from his meditation. He calls his son. See, you are a Brahmana. You should serve the society rather than cursing and getting angry at people. If you cease to showcase such compassion, you don't be a Brahmana. You should be very compassionate towards all sections of the people. That is a Brahmana's duty. Not showing anger, arrogance, superiority. That is not what you are meant for. I feel so bad that you have done this to the king. Apapeshu swabhrityeshu balana pakwa buddhina papam kritam mad bhagavan sarvatma kshantumarhati. This is not the way you have done, son. Meanwhile, media told Parikshit, you will be dying in seven days, sir. Now, Parikshit knew seven days is the only period he will live. What all we, we, we want to do? Suppose we are told seven days only you are going to live. Nobody will come to Bhagavatam. <laughs> that much is for sure. <laughs> so I will not come. See, forget you. Why should I why should I be impractical? I will not come. Because you need a lot of vairagyam to reach that level. Parikshit, he has been blessed by Bhagavan's benign grace while he was in the womb of Uttara. He goes and sits by the banks of the river at Prayopavesham. Prayopavesham means Unna Viradam. Not drinking Musambi juice in the background. <laughs> Proper Unna Viradam. That is when one little boy of 16 years of age, very handsome, he comes to that place. Beautiful he was to look at. Very handsome. A 16 years. Dvayashta varsham. 16 years of age. Beautiful hands, legs he came. 
He said, Parikshit, you have been sitting here. He asked, Sir, who are you? My name is Shuk. I am Vyasacharya's son. If you have any questions in your mind, please ask Parikshit. Q&A session. See, this is the only civilization which, which encourages questioning. Whether there are answers to the question is a different thing. But it at least allows you to ask questions. So, there may be one or two places where you won't have answers to questions. Where you will have some complaints against Sanatana Dharma being very ritualistic. Oh, I am not able to understand the meaning of the rituals. Everything is good. You are allowed to give feedback. You are allowed to ask questions. You know, that is the greatness of a civilization. You can ask, why did Rama do that? Why did he send pregnant Sita to the forest? Even then you will be given some title. Upanyasa Kesari, Upanyasa Upma, something they will give you. <laughs> so, so, if at all you have A, B, C, D at home, <laughs> huh? tell them, what is the greatness of Sanatana Dharma? You can ask questions. Because there are civilizations, if you question, your head will be elsewhere. <laughs> head will be talking separately. Or, the easiest way as one person, learned person says, the easiest way to kill, to kill a question is to kill the quest person who is asking the question. <laughs> huh? But Sanatana Dharma allows you to question. Here, Shukha Brahmam says, ask questions. What you want, you ask. Who will come knock at the door and say, ask questions? That is when Parikshit asks one question after the other. His question was, Draunyasya viplushtam idam madangam Santana bijam kuru pandavanam Jugopa kukshim gatiyatta chakraha Matuscha me yasharanam gatayaha Hey pa, Shuka, Shuka See there is a difference in the pronunciation of the aksharam sa Sha Sha Rishi Shimshumaram Sakalam Sakalasa Shimshumaram Sha Rishi Sha There is a difference. That is the greatness of the language too. It is not Syanka Chakram. It is Shankam and Chakram. Syankam. Gone. It is Sha. That Sha should come from the mouth. Similarly, there is a difference between Sukha. Sukham means happiness. Shuka means parrot. Shaku means bird. Shakunam. Based on the movement of birds, you tell the prophecy. Shaku. Shuka. Parrot. You are being very specific about the species in the kingdom of birds. Sukha, happiness. Mama Vashiva Panjara Shuki Pankaja Mukhi Guru Guharanjani Durita Banjani Niranjani Kanjadala Yetakshi Kamakshi Kamala Manohari Mama Vashiva Panjara Shuki Shuki Gu Pankaja Mukhi Ki The Kaka is a difference. So Shuka said, what is that you want to know? Parikshit said, see I was protected by one person called Krishna. He was my grandfather's closest friend. Tell me more about him. This was the question. But to answer to this question what Parikshit asks, Shuka Brahmam will tell at about 8.15 p.m. on the fourth day. Three and a half days introduction. Why sir? See, I am sure a lot of the elderly folks here will know. While making diamond studs, around the 1950s and 60s, there used to be a mine in South Africa where blue jacker diamonds used to come. That was a period when you got blue jacker diamonds. And to even make the studs, they would call the goldsmith home. They wouldn't give it to him. He had to design that in the house. So, the, after making those blue jacket diamond studs, they would keep it within a small dabba. 
small box of erstwhile jewellers they don't exist anymore babu jewellers and then the dabba will be kept inside a purse that purse with the dabba and studs will be kept in the side locker of the main locker <laughs> then the locker will be closed then the bureau will be closed then the room's door will be locked then the main door of the house will be locked outside gate will be again locked so to get the diamond studs you imagine the effort the thief has to take he has to break open the gate main door room door bureau locker inner locker purse dabba so each of these levels is a skandham prathama skandham dvitiya skandham tritiya skandham and krishna avataram is the blue jacket diamond called dashama skandham so shuka wanted to protect that particular krishna avataram you know what happened whether aditya karikala lived or not in ps2 only he has to tell correct nandini has to take that sword and there will be aganaga naga and then they will be happy and you know you have to create that thrill all our acharyas were great narrators if you tell everything in the first day itself who will come for the next 6 days <laughs> right now as this was said parikshit started patiently listening see as much as questioning is an art listening is a bigger art see nobody wants to listen but stephen covey says in the seven habits of highly effective people the fourth habit listen first to understand and then be understood first you have to listen shravanam is the most important yagyam so far see if someone asks you i'm sure everyone today you go tell your friends let them speak whatever bharatiya language tamil malayalam telugu kannada marathi marwari gujarati bengali hindi bhojpuri let them speak whichever language you tell it is not happening in any of these languages it is being it is happening in a language given by three mathacharyas one is rennacharya the second is martinacharya the third is elizabeth maharagni the three of the acharyas trimata acharyas have given us a language of 26 letters in the english alphabet called angla bhasha so if i speak in tamil telugu people won't come if i speak in telugu kannada people won't come everybody has a border problem or river problem in our country so if we speak in english oh, nobody even rahul will listen so or oh that the speaker is not after all that bad he is relatable comprehensible and porkable and <laughs> bring them there are daily tickets also one, one one day if you are bored you don't have to come because seeing the same person for 7 days is also a pain <laughs> see carnatic musicians are very beautiful and they dress up very well also <laughs> but here if you see same one ramraj veshti all the 7 days so even if you close your eyes and listen i won't take it to heart <laughs> now the point i'm trying to make is here parikshit asked shukabrahma answered parikshit listened listening is an art see we all think listening is easy when we listen we will know whether we are engrossed or our mind is going elsewhere listening is an art that's why they say the maximum retention time is decreasing but what to do upanyasam has to be at least for 2 hours <laughs> so these questions were asked now let's go to a few verses of bhagavatam's greatness see whatever he asked and whatever shukabrahma answered this compilation is called bhagavatam so we discussed how the yuddham led to abhimanyu sons close to death and how krishna revived him and how this child who was revived by krishna's grace later ended up getting a cr curse pronounced upon him and how he spent the seven days prior to his death in a very good fashion here in bhagavata mahatmyam 
ಒನ್ ಡೇ ನಾರದ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ತು ಪೃಥಿವೀಂ ಯಾತೋ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಸರ್ವೋತ್ತಮಿತಿ ಪುಷ್ಕರಂ ಚ ಪ್ರಯಾಗಂ ಚ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಪುಷ್ಕರಂ ಪುಷ್ಕರಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಇನ್ ರಾಜಸ್ಥಾನ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಪುಷ್ಕರಂ ಚ ಪ್ರಯಾಗಂ ಚ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಫ್ಲುಯೆನ್ಸ್ it is prayag kshetram there used to be another name not needed for us now prayagam cha kashim kashim is varanasi that is the only place where ganga meanders south to the north so kashi is very famous because when the river meanders north to come flows north to south at one place it meanders south to north and again goes back that small meandering portion is called kashi that is why dakshina kashi is mohanur in tamil nadu if you know tamil you will appreciate a great person called kiva jagannath he belong to mohanur mohanur is famous for krishna he is called sammohana krishna so that place kaveri meanders south to north it's called dakshina kashi kashim godavari tatha godavari pushkaram is very famous hari kshetram haridwar ಕುರುಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗ ಸೇತುಬಂಧನ ಐ ವೆಂಟು ಶ್ರೀರಂಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇತುಬಂಧನ ಏವಾದಿಷು ತೀರ್ಥೇಶು ಭ್ರಮಮಾಣ ಇತಸ್ತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ನಾರದ ಸೇಸ್ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಟಯರ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ಬೀಟಾ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಗಾಮಾ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಟಯರ್ಡ್ she was supporting two sons on her lap i asked who these sons are she said gnana and vairagya now you may wonder this is the allegorical way of depicting gunas vedanta deshika came up with a natakam called sankalpa suryodayam allegorical way so she says gnana vairagyam have swooned then narada asks madam you have told your sons have swooned who are you ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ದ್ರಮಿಡೇ ಸಾಹಂ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಲೇಡಿ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ರಮಿಡ ದೇಶಂ ದ್ರಮಿಡ ದೇಶಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ದ್ರಮಿಡೇ ಸಾಹಂ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಡ್ಯೂಸಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಟು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಗತ i went to karnataka kwachit kwachin maharashtra then i wanted a change from bisi bele bat to sabudana kichdi kai jhala so i went to maharashtra kwachit kwachin maharashtra then i wanted khemcho gurjare jirnatam gata i went and settled in gujarat what is your name madam my name is bhakti she tells i am bhakti so that is when narada says the only way to revive your sons is to talk about the greatness of bhagavatam and he says shloka ardham shloka padam va pathet bhagavatam chayah nityam punyam ava apnoti rajasuya ashvamedhayo even if you read a quarter when i say this word in tamil nadu people will get alerted <laughs> ಸಾರಿ ಎನ್ನಲ್ ದೊರ ಎನ್ನಲ್ಲ ಪೇಸದು ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅರ್ಧಂ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಪಾದಂ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಆಫ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ರೀಜುವನೇಟೆಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅರ್ಧಂ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಪಾದಂ ಪಠೇತ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಚಯ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಭಾಗವತಂ ಈವನ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ತ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ಅವ ಅಪ್ನೋತಿ ಚೆಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಚ್ ಬಿ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ಅವ ಅಪ್ನೋತಿ ರಾಜಸೂಯ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧಯೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಟು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ರಾಜಸೂಯಂ ಆರ್ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಅ ಯಾಗಂ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಮೆನಿ ಇಂಗ್ರೀಡಿಯೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ಆಫ್ ರಾಜಸೂಯಂ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧಯೋ ಸಿ ಯಾಗಂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಇನ್ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ವೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಥಿಂ
it is expensive that is why shastram felt that not all of them can afford so even if they listen to bhagavatam where they don't have to spend anything they have to give their ears friends romans and countrymen lend me your ears says mark antony but he has come to bury caesar right here we don't have to do that we'll have to you know bury our sins and then do atma shreyas now that said see i am giving you various timelines now we have to go during the mahabharata yuddham during the mahabharata yuddham something happened what was that arjuna tells krishna krishna those people who are standing here they are all related to me o positive <laughs> same blood runs through them now krishna said you knew they are of the same blood group even yesterday after coming to the yuddha sthalam you are suddenly telling they are my relatives krishna take ratham sabai achuta achuta take the chariot to the middle of the battle ground krishna took are you able to see both sides like papaya yes <laughs> i saw then should i fight them or not krishna krishna tells what should krishna ideally have done he should have said fight they have done injustice to you to your brothers to your wife and they are not doing justice to the subjects who are a part of the kingdom fight them krishna should have ordained or he should have looked through those eyes that has incarnated as nisimha sata patala bhishane he did neither he started explaining karma yogam jnana yogam bhakti yogam sthita pragya kai aishwaryarthi kaivalyarthi bhagavallabharthi arjuna forgot what question he had asked <laughs> it is like an upanyasam see at times in the middle of the upanyasam you will be wondering ivar enna solrar enna topic similarly so that was krishna charya's upanyasam then after that arjuna said okay okay krishna because he was worried if he continues more than 700 shlokas already it has reached 700 he said no krishna deal done emoticon i will fight them that's all and he started fighting but he didn't do the right form of fighting he started fighting with bhishma acharya he would throw one arrow bhishma would catch arjun action king take it and then he would take and they were fighting krishna thought see i have left all my administrative work and i am your charioteer i i was of the assumption that you will finish the yuddham fast both you and your grandfather are fighting like little children when will this get over now krishna got angry if you are not serious about it i know how to put this battle to a close he jumped from his chariot the hair tresses that he had nilabham kunchita ghram ganam amalataram sangyatam charubhangya ratnottam sabhiramam valaita mudayas chandrakaihi pinchajalahi he jumped took the wheel that was broken from a cart and rolled it that discuss and went towards bishma bishma put all his ayudhams down and said i was waiting for the moment when you will kill me krishna bishmacharya says tribhuvana kamalam tamala varnam ravi kara gauravam baram dadhane vapuralaka kula vrtananabjam vijaya sakhe rati rastu me navadya why don't you come and kill me hey vijaya sakhe who is vijaya arjuna vijaya sakhe oh friend to arjuna you come and kill me that time bhishma acharya remembered he said hey krishna because you know krishna had made a promise <clears throat> i'll tell you about this krishna's sister was married to arjuna you know that right bhadram bhadram subhadram iti she was married so in a way arjuna was his cousin as well as the son in law of the house so in a way krishna was bound to help arjuna in the yuddham krishna son born of jambavati called shambha was married to arjuna's daughter 
सो कृष्णा एंड दुर्योधना वेर संबंधी सो कृष्णा वॉज बाउंड टू हेल्प हिज संबंधी एस वेल दैट इज वाई यू नो द फेमस इंसिडेंट वेर शकुनी इंस्टिगेट्स दुर्योधना टू गो एंड सी कृष्णा हेल्प एंड कृष्णा वॉज आफ्टर फाफड़ा चुंदा खांडवी ठेपला उंधियो ही वॉज रेस्टिंग इन द आफ्टरनून दैट इज वेन दुर्योधना कम्स एंड सिट्स नियर इज हेड देन यू नो अर्जुना कम्स एंड सिट्स लेटर कृष्णा गेट्स अप एंड सेज हे अर्जुन हाउ आर यू एंड देन दुर्योधना गेट्स एंग्री कृष्णा आई केम फर्स्ट एंड देन दे हैव एन आल्टकेशन एंड देन कृष्णा सेज आई हेल्प बोथ ऑफ यू Duryodhana says give me the first choice but Krishna says as per shastram the younger one should always be given the choice so he says on one side is my very well equipped army they are now fighting in ukraine otherwise their army is very good and on the other side it is me whom do you want arjuna said is there any question about what i will choose i want you krishna arjuna felt very uh, duryodhana felt very happy thank god this man has chosen krishna and he said okay let my brother choose you i am ready to sacrifice you for my brother and he went home he went and told shakuni mama one one won the battle i've got the entire battalion shakuni asked where is krishna he is on the other side you fool <laughs> you have given the strategist to show to them ha huh? if this krishna is on the other side he can do anything to us so you go tell him that you have forgotten to ask the appendix portion to that boon <laughs> and go and append yourself there that is when he asked mama kaika shonner ennina you should not lift the weapon in the battle it seems you should not use a weapon in the battle krishna said okay i will not use any weapon arjuna then after duryodhana left asked krishna if you are not going to use your weapon what will you do on the battlefield <laughs> see you are going to the surgery table enna sir panna parayala operation le chumma paaka vande thiruvaimudi saathumare avar neenga pandra operation la iruparo poi varo ava bahachur ariya arana arana yadatte ava vatta veeda vatta guru jadagoban ava vilandadi halal ivaya iramum ava vile vai vattarindar pirandar uyarnde the jeevaatma will go out of the body pirandar uyarnde so arjuna asked when you are not going to use your weapon what will what use of will i find you in you in the battlefield krishna said wait don't get agitated who is your charioteer kutish where is that kutish he comes every day send him on casual leave for 18 days <laughs> then who will ride my chariot i will ride your chariot paartham tan thermu ninnanai shitrava baniyal muriduranthanai tiruvallikkeni kandena i will become a sarathi krishna you are a great king how can you sit one step below me for my friend i will do anything arjuna i will sit krishna sat now that first day before the first day of yuddham previous day press conference Krishna has said I will not use any weapon you remember he has said I has promised to Duryodhana I will not use any weapon Bhishma Acharya calls for a press conference immediately many of our industry uh, journalists will ask Tamil journalists will speak in some Tamil naangal ungal idathil ketukolla vendum neengal naangal tamilai kaakanam tamil odi vidum ஓடி போயாச்சு தமிழ் தமிழ் தாய் ஓடிவிட்டாள் ஏனெனில் உனக்கு இல்லா தங்கவில்லையே நாவில் இரண்டு சுழி நாவுக்கும் குந்தவை வாழை எடுத்து கொண்டு வா யார் வாழை நாக்க பிடிச்சு ஐ டோன்ட் நோ சம் ஹவு த பீப்புள் ஹூ புச்சர் த லாங்குவேஜ் ஹாவ் பிகம் த சேவியர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த லாங்குவேஜ் இட்ஸ் அன் ஐரணி Tamil has the characteristic of having certain letters not found in most other languages. Of course, Malayalam is is a child of Tamil, so the la exists. It's la. It's not la. 
It's Allah. La, la. Beautiful language. Oh, journalists gathered. And even Ornob came. <laughs> and he let Bhishma speak. That is his greatness. <laughs> so the press conference was called and Bhishma Acharya said, I just want to inform you all one thing. I vow that I will make Krishna use a weapon. It's my pledge. Next day newspaper, one left. I shall not use weapon, says Krishna. I will make him use one. Challenges Bhishma. Let's see who wins. <laughs> when Krishna lifted his weapon, the, ch the chakram of the chariot and ran towards Bhishma, Bhishma says, Yudhi Turagar, Yudhi Turagarajo Vidhumra Vishwa Kachalulita Shrama Varya Yankrita Se Mama Nishita Sharaira Vidyamana Twachi Vila Satkavate Shukrishna Atma Swaniga Mama Bahaya Mat Pratignam Rita Madhikar Tumava Pluto Ratasta Drita Rata Charano Bhayat Chulat Gur Hari Riva Hantumi Bamgato when Krishna jumped, Bhishma says, you know when the Uttariyam, Uttariyam is the first half of the body's Vastram. Uttariyam, in the first half, ut, higher. So this is called Uttariyam. Bhishma says, you are a fashionista. Krishna, when you jumped angrily from the chariot, even the way the Uttariyam flew had a fashion in it. Gatottariya. Kova patta on style of padrar, sir. Yeah. You can't go over to Pahone Puri Pertri Moraga. Gatottariya. Hari Riva Hantumi Bham Gatottariya. Bhishma says, when your Uttariyam flew, you were so handsome. Apahaya matpratigyam. Where will I find a Lord who says, even at the cost of my vow getting nullified, I will ensure the success of my devotee's vow? Kudarai vellum shir Govinda. You made me win Krishna. Bhishma tells from his bed of arrows. This is called Bhishma Stuti. That is what I cited from the second skandham of Bhagavatam. See, in one hour, fifteen minutes, I have covered close to two thousand shlokas. First skandham over, second skandham half. That is how, at that rate only I can go, then only I will be able to cover Bhagavatam. Slogan yoga ma pone, apri anubhavikana, anubhavikala. I have to shift my entire family here. <laughs> Priya and Narayan have to support me for 365 days. Swanigama Mapahaya Mat Pratignam. So this is Bhishma Stuti. That said, we have Parikshit asking questions. At one point in time, he asks this question: How is Srishti Kramam? How was this world created? See, even we have such questions. Whether we have studied the Shastras or not, we will have all big questions. What is your matter? How is the world created? How will it get destroyed? So that is when he says how Brahma was created. And Brahma doing a stuti to the Lord. But Brahma initially doesn't recognize the Lord. He doesn't know where whom he is born to. Non-yar. You know, generally when a person falls, the first question he asked, Nanyar. So Brahma asked, Who am I? And then through lot of tapam he found out the root of his birth. Rishi Moolam. Vedanta Deshika says it in his own inimitable manner. He says, Nali kena spurita rajasa vedhaso nirmimana ramyavarta dyuti sahacharim ranganatasya nabihi. In around whose navel, nabhi, Around whose nabhi the pollen of a newly blossomed lotus is found, that person is the Paramatma. So, like Chinna Gounder, you have to keep looking for the Topul. Nadi kenas purita rajasa vedhaso nirmimana ramya varta dyuti sahacharim rangana thasyana bihi. 
Now that is when he describes the Lord's beauty. He tells how beautiful he is. You know, though this is Bhagavatam, I have some special attachment to Narayaniyam. Narayaniyam is the essence of Bhagavatam, given by the great Bhattatri. So Bhattadri says, Tatte Pratyagra Dhara Dhara Lalita Kala Yavali Kelikaram Lavanya Syaikasaram Sukriti Janadrisham Purna Punyavataram Lakshmi Nishankalila Nilayana Mamrita Syanda Sandoha Mantaha Sinchat Sanchintakanam Vapuranu Kalaye Marutagara Natha He tells how beautiful the Lord of Guruvayur is because Guruvayur Appan is Archavataram. Gan Brolas Brolasat Gandapali Vyalola Karnapashan Chita Makaramani Kundala Dwandva Deepram. Look at see if you are into Sanskritam poetry, you will lose yourself. Beautiful. See, I I just have a suggestion. You're all very dear to me. I just have a suggestion. You make it like a time period. Every three months I have to finish one literature. I'm sure many of you are working. Intelligent people know how to manage their time. Do not cite responsibilities as one of the deterrents to acquiring knowledge. Life is very limited. We don't have to compose poetry. We just have to read somebody else's poetry. <laughs> Use this time. Read Kalidasa's Shakuntalam. Read Vikramurvashiyam. Read Bhasa's work. Read Kiratarjuniyam. How beautiful Bharavi has written. Magha Sishupalavadam. Classic. Harsha's Naishadham is at another level. If you find Sanskritam to be tough, use the English translations. They may do some justice. Or if you are interested in Tamil, read Silapadigaram. Read Thirukkuran. Two lines. What marvel that great Valluvar has created. Choose a language. Choose a Bharatiya language. Telugu Astikalu Narante Amukta Malyada Yento Adbutanga Undikada Kanada Udira Andre Kumara Vyasa Kumara Valmiki Rachane Madiro Kavya Galo Yento Undu Atyad Bhutanta Hedo Tarayrate. So choose a language. Putting one t shirt Hindi Tiryad Poda won't help. Yenna daan teriyo. See, Hindi teriyadu. Hindi teriyadu. Yenna teriyo. See, all these political statements won't fetch us any knowledge. See, it may help us get a few brownie points. But ultimately, we have to read. La more, learning more languages, knowing more languages is always a big plus. Learn as many languages as possible. Appreciate every language is beautiful. Kasturi Kannada, Telugu Theta, Sundara Tamil, every language. So, that said, why I was telling you this is Bhattadri says, Brolasat Gandabali Vyalolat Karnapasha. It seems the cheeks of the Lord. How do they look? See, if you are on keto. <laughs> Quinoa, <laughs> broken brown rice, black rice. See, now we should not, they'll say, you should not use such words, brown, black. But rice we have to use. <laughs> brown rice, black rice, grey rice. Uh, then you will not have brolasat gandapali. Brolasat gandapali means chubby cheeks. For that you have to have the beautiful nice sweets made in our temple canteen <laughs> I have been having for the last one and a half days so at the seventh day you will see me bro lasad gandabali chubby cheeks bro lasad gandabali look at the word Bhattadri says it seems from the emerald stone his cheeks have been made so they are like green hued Brolasat Gandapali. Why are they like mirrors? Because they have to reflect the glisten and the glamour and the sheen of his fish-shaped earrings. Vyalolat Karna Pashanchita Makaramani Kundala Dvandvadipram. Those reflections will fall onto his face. With that he will smile. Unmila Dantapangti says Bhattadri. Unmilatu danta pangti spuratharuna tarachaya bimbadarantaha. His two rows of teeth are so beautiful. They look as if somebody has made them, customized. 
this come one coming out no damstra they are all so aligned kundal unmile danta pankthi see two men went for a party when they went to the party at the end of the party there was dinner served it was a buffet dinner so the plate will be 1 kg a food will be half a kg govardhan giridhar govind gokul palak paramananda govardhan giridhar so both of them were enjoying their dinner as these two men were enjoying their dinner one lady sitting opposite them looked at one of the men and smiled in return she smiled further so did he she walked up to him this man was on cloud 9 i know i know i'm sure microsoft has come up with cloud 22 <laughs> this is still cloud 9 he was all gay and happy he grinned ear to ear the lady came she said we need to meet this is quite quick he thought man oh ma'am where please come to my dental clinic <laughs> you need some correction in your teeth so the lord's teeth aren't like that unmila danta pankti spurata runa tara chhaya bimba dananta so brahma unstaples his memories of the beautiful picturesque flashes he has of the lord's uninterrupted and unadulterated beauty there's no adulteration at all in his beauty that's spotless and blemishless to say the least his eyes see nobody can escape the eye glances of the lord matsyaha kamala lochana puranam says matsyaha even while he incarnated as a fish his eyes were like the lotus kurmaha kamala lochana mahavaraha sphuta padma lochana sata saroja sadrsha adrsha nisimma avataram eyes will look like lotus you know what exactly like a lotus imagine the lotus has just blossomed take two petals from the newly blossomed lotus and put it on his head it will look so large the eyes of the lord are large and they extend till the ears samudrika lakshanam says for the man and the woman the eyes should extend till the ears what if it can't some of my dancer friends i do a lot of productions they will put their mai till that <laughs> if eyes can't go what can we do we cannot do some corrections like reka then we have to put our eyes till the ears ಗಂಭೀರಾಂಬ ಸಮುದ್ಭೂತ ಸುಮೃಷ್ಟನಾಳ ರವಿಕರ ವಿಕಸಿತ ಪುಂಡರೀಕದಳ ಅಮಲ ಆಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಣ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಸೇಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಟಾಮರೆ ಕಣ್ಗಳು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇ ಗಂಭೀರಾಂಬ ಸಮುದ್ಭೂತ ಸುಮೃಷ್ಟನಾಳ ರವಿಕರ ವಿಕಸಿತ ಪುಂಡರೀಕದಳ ಅಮಲ ಆಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಣ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಹವ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸಮ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ we have to talk about two vaikuntham see these two vaikuntham's are important i'm sure all of you are going to attend the seventh day on the seventh day at 355 i will be talking about santana gopala charitram so in that santana gopala charitram this input data is very important it is like connecting the snitch that can recognize the flesh memory from the sorcerer stone to the 27th chapter of the deathly hallows in the 7th book okay you have to remember this there are two vaikunthams vaikuntham 1.0 2.0 first vaikuntham is where there is no return there is only one way for which the jeeva atma has to exit through the 101st nadi called sushumna the second vaikuntham is called karya vaikuntham where people can go and come we may find in our puranas brahma goes and brahma comes lord shiva goes and mahadeva comes there is vaikuntham 2.0 now in vaikuntham 2.0 one day brahma's manasika putra sanaka sanatana sanat kumara they the four sons they had vowed to be celibates they won't marry they had a uh, passport visa free visa to about 73 countries 
they had a very powerful passport where they didn't have visa they will create problems so they went to vaikuntham they were stopped at the western corridor by dwarapalakas called jaya and vijaya jaya and vijaya see i keep telling this in most of my lectures i'm tired of it i'm sure chicago astikas are very very prudent intelligent completely blessed with the grace of panini patanjali mahabhashyakaras in nouns you should not unnecessarily add akarantam see certain sounds create a gender in sanskritam for example generally akaranta shabdam is trilinga vachakam om uma saumya rama a if you add it becomes trilinga so when you're denoting the lord here you have to or pullinga vachaka shabdam you have to conclude with the sound a jaya vijaya govinda damodara narayan hari narayan hari narayan hari narayan narayana ra vinda ra jay jay shri sudarshana sudarshana means his wife vijayavalli will come jay jay shri sudarshana sound jay jay mahavir mahadhir dhaurey deva sura samara samaya samudita nikhil nirjara nirdharita niravadhika mahatmya sound should come mahatmya ranadwara jay jay mahavir you should not come see generally in the south indian languages we have that habit of adding that sound you know ramesha barlilvo yako ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯೋ ದಟ್ ಆ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಮೈ ಅವರ್ ಆಸ್ತಿಕ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇ ಶಾಂತಾಕಾರ್ ಭುಜಕ್ಷಯನ್ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ್ ಗಗನ್ ಸದೃಶ್ ಮೇಘ್ವನ್ ಶುಭಾಂಗ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತ್ ಕಮಲ್ ನಯನ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಮಲ್ ನಯನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟೀಶ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ that am should come i'll tell you why because it is dvitiya vibhakti ramachandram bhavayami raghukul tilakam upendram aham bhavayami i respect so that ramachandram then ramachandram becomes object i'm not giving a big lesson on grammar in sanskritam but remember ramachandram shantakaram means i meditate on the lord who is the akaram of shantam that im should come shantakar who is that shantakar kalakar no kar so that shantakaram should come and it is not gobin padmanab govind a sound should be there you should not in in prakritam khadi boli hindi braj bhasha bhojpuri avadhi that lot sound could be taken that is hindi is shaili sundar aa raha hai kya wo theek hai hindi mein jab aap baat karte hain to last jo akshar hai uske uska jo uchcharan hai usme se wo akar nikal sakte hain in sanskritam it is not right it is neither govind or govinda it is govind so remember this this rule is very important now you may say what is the benefit of this how many let's try to perfect our language that's all see when i go to the uk i gave a session to the youth i told them like your city is on the bank of river thames they all looked at each other it's not thames it's thames jo lipte okay so it's thames so they get worked up when you don't say the right word correct for example huh? for a person who respects every letter of the english language he will say san jose <laughs> but the native american language says it's ho it's san jose so that person asks when did you come hulai <laughs> because he can't say julai <laughs> so so every person of every continent has is very sensitive to their pronunciation but when it comes to sanskritam ah, sir it can be any way how <laughs> ah the same rule applies here so these 
sons of Brahma went to Vaikuntham. As they went to Vaikuntham, they were stopped by Jaya and Vijaya. Jaya and Vijaya said, you can't enter now. Sanaka, the Kumaras should have spoken softly with them. Somehow that second they got perturbed. They said, who are you to stop us? Then these Jaya and Vijaya started showing their attitude. And at the end of it, the Sanat Kumaras were extremely frustrated and they cursed that you shall be born on the earth very soon. It was a big punishment for them. If you are born on earth, we all are very happy. <laughs> you know, whenever I come to the US, Costco Costco Mokshama. Lessons are always to be learned from our past. If parents commit mistakes, the children should not repeat the same mistakes. They can commit a set of new mistakes. <laughs> right? Andal, the little girl of Sri Viliputur, my favorite friend, she's a superstar. She says, that is why from Sanat Kumara's episode, I will not misbehave with the watchmen. Nayaga nai nindra nanda gopa nudaya ko ilka pane She respects those watchmen. Mani kadavam tal tiravai Please open the door. Vailka pane mani kadavam tal tiravai Ayar shirimi yarro bumak arai parai mayan mani vannan Please, see, this is what management is. Learn from mistakes of your previous products. If the product has failed, it has not reached the mature phase of your product cycle, introspect and don't repeat that mistake. Now she did, here they were cursed. Now these Dwarapalaka started crying. That is when the Lord comes out. You know how beautifully he comes out, it is described. Tade tadagnaya bhavana vaptaha sahiva lakshmiya bahiram bujaksha khageshwaram sarpita charubahur ananda yanstana bhirama murtya. Look at the description. When the Lord comes out, there is big altercation between two parties outside his house. The Lord comes with a smile. Makara kundalangal irushavi inanga madi mukham thanile muruval vile yada. Smile. With one hand on Mahalakshmi, the other hand on Garuda, he comes slowly. What happened? Like that party of Woodward's grape water. Yenna paachi. Then these people say, they have cursed us and we have to take seven janmas. Then the Lord says, I will reduce the tenure, only three janmas you have to take. But in those three janmas, you shall be scolding me. Samrambha Yogam it is called. You shall show your disgust and attain me. It is said they were born as Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyaksha, Ravana Kumbhakarana, Shishupala, Dantavakra. Now the first janma is when Diti Devi approaches. Diti Aditi. They were the daughters of Daksha. Diti approaches her husband Kashyapa. Kashyapa is around Kashmir region. Kashyapa Vihara, Kashmira it is called. So she approaches her husband. She pulls his dhoti. That shlokam is also there. Matangajaha, I am tormented by the god of love. I want children born to the both of us. That time Kashyapa wants, he says, the time that you have approached me is Raudra Muhurtam. Evening time. When the sun is about to set. Because this is the time when Lord Shiva Mahadeva from Kailasha sits on Nandivahana and goes to Smashana Bhumi. To you know to take the ashes of the newly burnt. This Raudra Muhurtam we should not eat or come together. Then it is not good for us. But she says it doesn't matter even if I produce antisocial elements. <laughs> I want to come to you. Kashyapa says that's your choice. And eventually she is impregnated. She is pregnant. That is when she seeks remorse. She says, Swami, I have committed a mistake. What to do now? He says, it seems to be like an irreversible reaction. You cannot get back to the original state. Your children shall torment people. But 
I give you an emancipation that your grandson will be the greatest of devotees. Parama Bhagavata Mauni Varasha Shibi Bhakara Sanaka Sananda Nodhi Shasura Kim Purusha Kanaka Kashi Pusuta Narada Tumburu Pavana Sunu Bala Chandra Dhara Shuka Saroja Bhava Bhusura Varulu Parama Pavanulu Ghanulu Shashvatulu Kamala Bhava Sukha Musada Nubhava Mugak Yundaru Mahayanu Bhavulu So your grand son will be great. That said, Diti Devi birthed, mothered those two children, Hiranya Kashipu and Hiranyaksha. Hiranyam in Sanskrit means gold. You know, the biggest problem now Sanatana Dharma faces is we don't have readers and listeners having the discerning ear to interpret the shlokas in a logical way. We always interpret it as is. This is poetry. See, in poetry, there is always bound to be exaggeration. The truth will be one. Exaggeration will be this much. Who entered the hall? A lady with the gait of a swan. With hair just fluttering around. With tresses that are so curly and glistening. Effervescent to say the least. With eye long glances as she came in, there was a breeze of fragrance that was spreading everywhere. The aura was indescribable, says the person. When we look, it will be a normal lady entering. <laughs> See, that was poetry, the second is prose. Anna Vadivala Shayum Anna Nadayal Vuyarum Anna Varasheri Varuval. Vedanta Deshika says, Anna Vadival Ashayum Anna Nadayal Vuyarum Anna Varaseri Varuval Atanayan Atanayan Wuttiyan Atiyan Wutti Puriyal Nal Nana Vida Yidu Yidin Nana Dava Nada Vakuva Deri Yidival So poetry will always exaggerate. Prose gives you the truth. A lady entered the hall. But only if we have poetry, we will have colour in our life. See, everything cannot be prose. Yaar vandha, maapla vandhar. Yaar vandha, maapla vandhar. Yaar That is not the way. Yenna arundha, jommun arundhar thiriyumo paakar thukku. Ivara, amma, yemma apla ya chhe. Omma apla ya arundha, jommun ille. So, we are all poets. See, however distant you are from, from Bharata Desham, we are all poets. We will give competition to other poets. So Hiranya means gold. Immediately one person said, the, body, the one with the body of gold, the one with the eyes of gold. We we'll imme immediately imagine body full of gold, 916 gold. <laughs> Hiranya means gold. Gold signifies yellow. The one whose skin was yellow. See, we refer to China Desham generally as the yellow race, correct? Now you may wonder, sir, that is China. Then why are you bringing it in Bharatam? Please understand, Himalayas begins from little parts of Myanmar, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Bhutan, lower part of Tibet, then Uttarakhand, then you've got Himachal, Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, upper part of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and then you've got Gilgit. Balkistan and then you've got upper part of if you know the geography Pakistan lower parts and upper parts of Afghanistan lower parts of the Central Asian countries Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and the Karakoram range this is called the Himalayan range so up and above you will have some mix of races now you may ask was China there yes in Sri Mahabharatam, Vyasacharya states, who were the armies that helped Duryodhana? There is one shlokam, Chinam Scha Ayudhaihi. China army came and helped Duryodhana. There is a mention in Mahabharatam. Even Kumara Sambhavam Kalidasa says, when the flag was fluttering high, it was as soft as the silk of China. Chinam Shukaihi. So it was not that we were not cognizant of the other geographies. So there is a mix of race. So the color was yellow. So the skin whose 
skin was yellow was Hiranya Kashipu. The one whose eyeballs always were jaundiced enough, little yellow. He was called Hiranyaksha. There is another reason attributed in the Nisimha Puranam. Nisimha Puranam says, while Ashwamedham Yagam was performed by Kashyapa, there are five seats kept for the Yagam. Udgata, Hotra, Advaryu. These are all the positions of a Yagam. There is one position called Brahma. So from tomorrow I have one request. All of you should carry a small notebook and pen. See there is a difference between listening to a concert and an upanyas. <laughs> Bhagavata Saptaham's aim is to educate all ourselves more with the Shastra. And Gone are the days. Even 20 years back, trust me, I could, I remembered 100 phone numbers. 20 years back, my grandmother used to ask, Chitti number chullu, I used to tell. Now we have forgotten that also. We don't have to remember anything. Now there is a big, you know, woke, wokeshwara, wokanayaka. <laughs> now, woke people say, why should you memorize? What is the use of memorizing? Then we may have to keep doing Sudoku to escape dementia. <laughs> that is why our ancestors say, learn the shlokas first. Memorize. Memorizing is an art. What? I don't know the meaning. Even we don't have a meaning for our existence. <laughs> so learn. Write. Keep writing. So please take it in the right spirit. Keep. When you take down notes, you know, there is always some kind of a new spirit when you hold a pen and write. Writing is an art. If our ancestors had not listened and written, we wouldn't have had any of these scriptures to discuss. Right. So there is a difference in Kacheri. Where Alex Babu says, Ranjani held a chajam. Tukki kurtuta gayatri. Says Alex Babu. Alex Babu's concert, you don't have to carry a book. But Dushyan Saptaham you have to carry. Because I will ask questions. Alex Babu ke kamata. Na ke Because we should remember, see, Sanatana Dharma is a collective responsibility. We are not a civilization that can lure people through money, nor can we threaten someone. When you can't threaten and bring new people and you can't you don't have money to bring new people, the only way to sustain the dharma is spreading knowledge. For spreading knowledge, every person has the responsibility of spreading it. You listen to something today, four points, make it a point, you go home, four points that you feel which is very good and relatable. Type those four points and send it to your children. Send it to your sisters, brothers. Now, will they read? That's not the way you see. You send. To read or not read is their karma. You send. See, this is how knowledge should spread. Or we should be all kuratalvans. First time we listen, we remember everything. If when we are in, we should write. So here, the positions in a yagam, Advaryu, Udgata, there is one position called Brahma in a yagam. Brahma is different from this yagam Brahma. Yagam Brahma means supervisor. So if something goes wrong with the yagam, he will point out. In those days, there used to be a saying, whoever doesn't know much, they will make him the Brahma. Because if he doesn't know much only, he won't find the faults in the yagam. <laughs> so, while a yagam is performed, there are five seats kept. The fifth seat in a yagam is called, is generally gilded in gold. The fifth seat, it is called Hiranya Kashipu. The fifth seat. These two children born to Diti and Kashyapa, they crawled. The first child went and sat on the fifth stool. So the Rishi said when he has sat on Hiranya Kashipu, from now on he will be called Hiranya Kashipu. When he has acted in Venirade, his name is Venirade Murti. <laughs> right? See in Bangalore, Bangalore is in Ah, In Bangalore, there is a mara itittu. Maragulu, Viksha. Once upon a time, Bangalore used to have trees. So, in those days, I remember in the early morning before I used to sleep to school, the vegetable vendor would come. Alugadde, alugadde, alugadde. He used to come selling alugadde. And we wouldn't know his namakarana. What was his name? You know, what will we call? Alugadde! 
So what you sell becomes your name. He sat on Hiranyakashipu, he became Hiranyakashipu. Now this Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyaksha, they grew up. Now there is this point. Hiranyaksha, he started troubling people on this earth. That is when Shastram says, Hiranyaksha kept Mother Earth in the oceanic waters. There is a big problem here, very big problem. How can you keep Mother Earth in the oceanic waters? Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, South China Sea, everywhere, everybody is fighting, everything is on Earth. How will you go take that earth and keep it in the ocean? That means there is one experiment. You have to take all the waters, put it in one jar and then put the earth bereft of the waters into that jar. You know like that rasgulla which is put in that syrup. <laughs> you have to put. All this is logically not tenable. You cannot take the earth which is at a certain axis rotating and going around the sun from its axis and take. And if he had done that, everybody would have died. Even his own brother would have died. Correct? But we are told, you know, in 1960s, my great inspiration, Anantarama Dikshita, all the Upanyasakas will state, Apodu, and the Hiranyakshan, Bhuma Devi Akundu, Samudra Jalatala Vachutanam, Ada, Kurta, Bhattadril, Edukara. And all our ancestors, you know, at one point in time, you cannot question great learned men, you cannot ask. Now, if I tell one word, immediately the next young child asks, I have a doubt. <laughs> Children don't hesitate to ask questions and we should encourage because they are asking relevant questions. But I told you all this is poetry. You should have the Tarkika mind to strip them off of the figures of speech, be it the similes, the metaphors or the onomatopoeia and then see the crux, the quintessence of it. Let's now take the normal way. That is why Ramanuja is in a way great. I'll tell you why. When there is a conflict between Shabda Pramanam and Pratyaksham, Ramanuja says, interpret the Shabdam based on Pratyaksham. It's a beautiful rule. Ramanuja gives it. Ramanuja's Sri Bhashyam is a logical treatise. Okay, now I'll come back to the point. I'm talking about Bharata Desham. Here you may have a different experience. I'm telling from the country where I have come. There are two ways to have a dwelling. One is an independent house and the second is an apartment. You call it the condo here if I am right. Independent house or an apartment. In an independent house, if I have to construct the house, I have to first buy that land, plot. So let's say I buy one ground or half a ground, 30 feet by 40 feet. Then I have to construct the house. Before constructing the house, what will I do? Huh? Foundation, before foundation. Ah, Bhumi Puja. Am I doing Puja to the whole Bhumi or only the 30 by 40 plot? 30 by 40 plot. But I don't call it 30 40 Puja. I call it Bhumi Puja. <laughs> Correct? Point one. Remember this. One. Second, with the burgeoning population in Bharata Desham, we have started converting lakes into residential areas. That is why when it rains, house becomes lake. Lake has become house. During rains, house becomes the lake. So when the house drowns, waters get inside the house, what do we say? Bhoomi murigi pudhu. Correct? When we do puja to the house, we say bhoomi puja. When my house drowns, I say bhoomi murigi pudhu. So, we don't either refer to the land or the house when it drowns or when the puja is done, we call it Bhumi because even a small part of the land is treated as Bhumi. Okay. Now I mentioned about this entire stretch of the Himalayas. It is often called the roof of the world because one range which is so tall on an average that extends for such a long distance is Himalayas. Himam is snow. Alayam is residence. That mountain range where the snows rest is called Himalaya. Now Himalayas, they are divided into three. Himachal, Himadri, Shivaliks. That is the topography. 
at the start there are many glaciers glaciers give rise to brahmaputra yamuna ganga sindhu chandrabhaga these are all the rivers you know that indus jhelam ravi bia satluj ganga yamuna sarayu koshi brahmaputra these are all perennial rivers so such rivers come from glaciers this is point number 2 point number 3 see whenever i used to be in class 9 grade 9 my mother used to say you are not studying like the way you studied in class 8 she used to say when i went to class 10 she used to repeat the same dialogue you are not studying like the way you studied in class 9 so either i am exponentially deteriorating or this is her prudent way of motivating me so the point i'm trying to make is those problems which we call as the problem of the present was there in the past too pollution we call it today but pollution exists even then at a different scale at a different intensity hiranyaksha the brother of hiranyakashipu was against mother nature the flora and fauna he was against so he would use indigenous and deceptive ways of causing damage to glaciers so when glaciers are damaged and they melt and the rivers swell the river water level increases the land on either side of the river they get submerged so even if a small habitat where people live submerge what do we call the bhumi submerged like how we say bhumi puja bhumi submerged here it would have got submerged now that part has to be lifted because it has gone under water either the waters have to recede or the land has to come up see I, when i go to one of my very good friends place in chennai t nagar at a great road called habibullah road every time i go i would see the vicinity at one point in time i saw the house which was bordering his house go up by 6 feet my height i thought something is extremely wrong with my eyes i checked with him he said because of the rain water is coming in now there are civil engineering techniques where you can use levers and lift the entire house 6 feet up so one part of the land that drowns you can lift that land similarly one small part of the land on either sides of the river that swelled because of the waters which were submerged because of the glaciers melting caused by the imprudent action of hiranyaksha the lord through varaha lifted that part so here it doesn't mean bhumi has been taken put into another place all this won't suit logic that is why it is very important to put your mind and understand sanatana dharma as is if you take it is very tough in our ancestors had that knowledge since we are away from scriptures we take lines as is now when bhumi was submerged swayam bhuvamanu went and cried to brahma and he said brahma that part of that land is missing i don't know where it is If you go present your worry to Brahma, what will Brahma do? He will he will also join you in that worry. She end the call over there. Why, sir? Brahma ji ke baare mein aap aisa bol rahe ho. Aap kahan ho Brahma ji ke baare mein baat karne ke liye? Main kuch bhi nahi hoon, koi bhi nahi hoon. Fir bhi numpil lay says, who is Brahma? For which he says he gives a beautiful description. பரணிலேரி நிலாவை பார்க்குமா போலே அவனாயிருக்கும் சி டே ஒன் த லிட்டில் பாய் ஆஸ்க்ஸ் இஸ் மதர் மை மாம் ஐ வுட் லவ் டு டச் த மூன் சந்திரனை தொட்டது யார் ஆம்ஸ்ட்ராங்கா சத்தியமாய் தொட வேண்டும் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டச் த மூன் த மதர் செட் மை டியர் சன் ஆர் அண்ட் யூ அவேர் யுவர் ஒன் லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் மைல்ஸ் அவே ஃப்ரம் த மூன் யூ கான் டச் த மூன் டே ஒன் த மதர் டெல்ஸ் இஸ் சன் டே டூ that was shri jayanti the day of gokula ashtami and that mother would partly make bakshanams and buy bakshanams the remaining so if she wanted to make one or two after watching yogambal <laughs> and shanta party and chef dina and you know they are the vintage but avara uttutome enne kottuvar 
அவன் பாருங்க எப்படி துடிக்கிறான் பாருங்க அப்படியே வரான் பாருங்க அவங்க ஹீ வில் போர் கீ அண்ட் ஆயில் பட் த பியூட்டி இஸ் ஹீ வில் நெவர் ஈட் நம்மளை சாப்பிட வச்சுட்டு வாத்தியார கூப்பிட வச்சுருவேன் so the mother said today shri jayanti my dear son i would like to make some bhakshanams climb up the ladder climb the ladder go up to the attic and get me that all purpose flora enna solve maidak it will give even moksha then all purpose dharma artha ka dharma arthi prapunuya dharma artha arthi chartham apunyat kama anava apunyat kami prajarthi chapunuya whatever you desire that all purpose flower will give right if you eat it within a certain limit you can enjoy this vibhuti so the son gave that all purpose flower to the mother then the mother said my dear son get down that tick come down this boy said no mom i am not going to come down you know what i can touch the moon from here <laughs> the mother gave a gaffa she said my dear son what a silly understanding yes compared to your position yesterday you are 10 feet up you are at a better position but with respect to the moon your distance hasn't changed you were 150000 miles yesterday to your today you are 149999.999 which is a non terminating decimal miles away so with respect to the moon your position hasn't changed with respect to yesterday your position has changed the acharya says the position on day 1 of the boy is like us the position on day 2 above the attic is like brahma Paramatma is like moon compared to us brahma is in a better position but with respect to paramatma we are both in the same boat so brahma didn't have a solution he said what do i do as he was worrying mahavaraha sphuta padmalochana ittham vidhyayato nasad vivarat sahasanaga as he was worrying one little swine wild boar jumped out of his nostril small one it kept its hand like this and looked at brahma brahma how dare you jump from my nose and you're looking at me with such audacious eyes who are you mahavaraha sputa padmalochana when he saw the eyes that were akin to the petals of a newly blossomed flower oh this is narayan my lord why have you come this way then the lord turned big he went as a boar in the marshes because that particular portion which is submerged will have marshes and then he went and lifted that part as he lifted that small portion which was submerged see when you take something with waters there will be some movement in the waters as the waters move there will be waves as the wave waves lash there will be sound vedanta deshika said says the lashing of the waves by like the music of mridanga because lord was uniting with bhuma devi it was their marriage purvam varah vapusha purushottamena pritena bhogi sadane samudikshita ya पादळत प्रलय वरिधयस्तवसन उद्वाह मंगल विधे उचिता मृदंगा देन ही लिफ्टेड मदर अर्थ सी व्हेन यू पर्सोनिफाई समवन भूमि इज लाइक वन पीस ऑफ लैंड बट इन आइकोनोग्राफी यू हैव टू पर्सोनिफाई करेक्ट हाउ डू यू पर्सोनिफाई योर इंटरेस्ट इन सेवन अप इन दोस डेज दैट एडवर्टाइजमेंट यूज्ड टू कम द हेयर एट द टॉप दैट इज आवर इंटरेस्ट इन सेवन अप ye dil mange more used to say sachin kapil dev used to come and say boost is the secret of our energy inside the hand they will put that bottle of boost <laughs> similarly bhuma devi is positioned as a beautiful lady why did the lord emerge from his nostril because in srishtik kramam of sanatana dharma we have panchikarana prakriya so we have five bhutas pancha bhutas akashad vayuhu vayor agnihi agnerapah adhya prithivi prithivyam oshadayah what is akasham what is akash space very good that is chicago astic audience <laughs> she akasham is space correct 
because generally akasha means people look to the sky akash atma player par akash we look to the top akasham is not sky it is space this is all akasham air has pervaded the space akashad vayu what is the greatness of akasham it's usp called as shabdam akasham the usp tanmatram is shabdam how do you sense shabdam ear you hear with your ear akashad vayu vayu what is the greatness sparsham feel how do you feel skin vayor agnihi agnihi is form you can see where the fire is i was telling this in los angeles they knew it very well <laughs> where is fire you can see right how do you see ice from fire comes water water is taste when i went to seattle they said sir you have the water of washington state it tastes so good taste taste is tongue finally comes the panchabhuta called prithvi man what is the smell, uh, greatness of its smell bharati raja said man vasanai <laughs> correct how do you smell nose who is suffering at the hands of hiranyaksha earth what is earth's quality smell so to give a solution the lord emerged from the nose so the lord emerged he protected bhuma devi that is when bhuma devi said to have told him in his yogic vision please protect our children you have made a rule that whatever the child thinks of the child shall become that if the child is lying in the icu critical care unit they cannot think of you then they cannot get moksha what do we do that is when the lord said if they have surrendered to me they have done sharanagati even if they don't think of me in the last minute i will grant them moksha सकृदे स्थिते मनसि सुस्वस्थे शरीरे सतीयो नरः धातु साम्ये स्थिते स्मर्ता विश्वरूपं च मामजम दीस आर टू श्लोकास सी पर्सनली आई विल गिव यू वन राइट यू हैव द राइट टू ऑडियो रिकॉर्ड द सेशन इन योर मोबाइल इफ यू केप द ऑडियो ऑन यू कैन रिकॉर्ड आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम नो कॉपीराइट इश्यू विल कम बिकॉज इज ऑल बिलोंग्स टू शुक ब्रह्म you have the right to record i will now tell two shlokas if you want you can record this please feel free to record and i will tell you can you have to just repeat with that we will conclude then you can take the prasadam box and go yeah sthite manasi susvasthe now we have 187 people here and we have 187 mouths and in sanskritam the greatness is you have to drench the t-shirt and the blouse of the person sitting in front of you <laughs> your pronunciation should be that apt sthite adu therikano ananda amruta karshini amrita varshini haradi pujite shive bhavani ananda amruta स्थिते मनसि सुस्वस्थे शरीरे सति यो नर धातु साम्ये धातु साम्ये स्थिते स्मर्ता विश्वरूपं च माम अजम ततस्थम ततस्थम म्रियमाणम तू काष्ठ पाषाण सन्निभम काष्ठ पाषाण सन्निभम अहम स्मरा मद्भक्त नया पर गति दिस इज कॉल्ड वराह चरम श्लोक वेर द लॉर्ड सेस टू दट डिवोटी हू एस 
presented himself or herself to me. They have submitted themselves to me. Even in their last minute, if they do not manage to think about me, I will think about them and give moksham. This is called Varaha Charma Shlokam. That is why Andal tells this in a very cryptic manner. Pashiturthu kudanda parmagatku pandurunal mashudambin nirvara manamila panniyam teshudayatthevar thiruvaranga chelvanar peshi rippanagal perkavum perave. What Varaha and Bhumi Devi spoke is so beautiful which I keep remembering she says. Now I have told you what they have spoken. This comes in Varaha Purana. So Hiranyaksha, the younger brother of Hiranyakashipu was born to Diti and Kashyapa for having disturbed the equilibrium in the flora and the fauna in the nature around him. The Lord had to reprimand him by coming as a wild boar. When the wild boar came, he came with two tusks that looked as if two crescent moons were attached to a tuber. So he has incarnated. Now this is Varahavataram. I have many portions to cover for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will tell you. Kapilavataram. Kapilopadesham. The most beautiful of all. How the Jeevatma gets inside a, a lady who is pregnant because when she is impregnated when the Jeevatma comes what the Jeevatma undergoes and how the Jeevatma will exit from the body that will come tomorrow Kapilopadesham then Dakshayagyam Dhruvacharitram Prithucharitram all, and Jadabharata Upakhyanam we have so much tomorrow important portions and these are lesser known things because Krishna Avataram everybody knows but Jada Bharata Charitram, why Jada Bharata, why it is called Bharata Desham, what connection this man has, all this for tomorrow. So my earnest request is now go home, tell some of your prospect friends, tried and tested, not that bad. <laughs> you may come from tomorrow, there are everyday tickets also available. Please come and if they have, they don't have to worry about dinner at a very nominal rate. The temple is making prasadam. They can take box dinner also. So I'm sure. See, I, I'm not denying the very fact that weekdays are a challenge. BGC Vedic, Lemon Temple, RR International, Raghuram Ji has come. Uh, so everybody, they will all be worried. Weekdays, nobody will take the risk to organize. But for Priya and Narayan. They took the risk. And I said, Chicago Astikas, wherever they are, even in the near from the nearby state, they will drive and come. Right? See, Bhagavata Saptaham is not a everyday thing. You get 150 kacheris a year. So many dance arangetrams. But how many Bhagavata Saptahams happen? And that too in English. It can happen in Telugu. Great revered Samavedam Shanmukha Sharma Garu, they, he will come. Garika Party may come. Prabhanjana Acharya Kannada Dali Heltare. Adre, Angla Bhashe Ali Helo Undu Undu Uttarai Ditva Idiya Ilva. So it is made in English so that a diverse India, Indian community can listen. So if you have friends who you believe are potential listeners, tell them. Avakitan Adikushala. Don't let them come. There will be more chairs. Here also there is place. <laughs> See, for Bhagavatam, it is my Bhagyam to tell and your Bhagyam to listen. Both of us are fortunate. <laughs> Parikshit got moksham at the end of it. <laughs> so, you can you can you don't tell all these things to your friends, then they'll get worried. Marana manal vaigundam kodukum piran. So bring them here. So please bring Telugu, Kannada, Tamil, Malayalam, Hindi, Gujarati speaking devotees. Ella Ella language in Padu. Telugu Telugu Bhashalo Partha. Then I will speak sing in Kannada, Malayalam. All languages I'll sing. So bring them here. So please bring them from tomorrow, seven days. 
I'll tell you, I'm so happy to see all of you present today. Because Priya and Narayan were very, very dear. Where were our two brothers? Can I come? Because when two people are only in the audience, they won't get enough time to even scratch their nose. I have to keep looking at them. But now I have a diversified community, and they will bring more people. Priya, don't worry. So, bring more people from tomorrow. Tell them, take this message, take the poster, pass it on to them. Everyday tickets are available. I'm again thankful to the temple, all the volunteers and all the astikas. So tomorrow is this. The day after tomorrow is Nusimhavataram. Fourth day is even more beautiful. We are going to come across one of the most reminiscencing avataram of our Sanatana Dharma called Krishna Jananam. So every day is an opportunity for me to elucidate, delineate, internalize the greatness and the quintessence of the esoteric verses of Bhagavatam and so much so you all have the ability to listen and discern. So please do bring, I'm sure if you have children, please, importantly children, who have the patience to listen, please bring them. I may be speaking in the Indian accent of English, I can't help. <laughs> but I hope my accent is quite understandable. Right, I, I can't, I, I can't manage, I can't match Maitreyi of never had I ever. <laughs> right, Devi Vishwakumar, I can't say, of never have I ever. Right, but I will learn from Maitreyi next time. She is in Canada, I will learn and come. But for now, bear with my Indian accent, bring more children. As long as they don't create this into a Kishkinda kandam. <laughs> Bring those children also here. Kavita Arkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Swastif Prajabhyaf Paripalayantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishaha Gobram Hane Bhesh Shubham Astunityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Bavantu Kayena Vacha Manasendri Eva Buddhyat Manaba Prakriti Swabhavat Karomi Etiat Sakalam Parasmai Shriman Narayana Eti Samar Payami Kalyana Rupaya Kalau janana Kalyana datre Karuna sudhabde Kamvadi divya Yudha satkaraya Vatalaya Adhishana mo namaste Narayana 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 Namaskar. <laughs>